Welcome back to the tutorials of Breath. In the previous videos, we have seen how we can create and modify Brain Atlas and an MRI cohort using Breath. And in the first part of the tutorial of the MRI graph analysis package, we have gotten familiar with the initialization of the graph analysis. Here, we are going to start our analysis on the connectivity matrices of different groups. In order to start your analysis, you can either click on the Start Analysis button here, or you can open the Saved Graph Analysis, which is saved as a .mga file. Then this interface appears. As you see, again the cohort panel appears in which you can see the cohort used for analysis and its properties. Also the name of your analysis can be redefined here. Under this box, you can see the parameters you have selected for creating the connectivity matrices. However, you cannot modify them here. If you want to see the community structure defined for the graph analysis, click on the View Community button. Remember that you cannot redefine a new community structure for your analysis here, but you can visualize it. In the case that you want to modify any of these parameters, you have to click on the new analysis button, which will take you to the previous interface where you can redefine the analysis parameters by repeating the actions described in the first part of this tutorial. On the main panel, you can see the same tools for visualization of the connectivity matrices as in the previous interface. Now I go back to the left side of this interface. Under the new analysis button, you can see a list of measures with their types and a brief description in the table. If you want to select any of these measures, you should click on the checkbox provided next to the measure's name. In order to select all of the measures, click on the select all button below the table. To clear the selected measures, click on the clear selection button. If you want to just select global or nodal measures, click on either the Select Global or the Select Nodal buttons. To start calculating the group measures, click on the Calculate Group Measures. As you see, the measures that were selected in the main interface are also selected here. You can modify your selection of measures for calculation as described before. On the right panel, you can define the parameters of the calculation. From this drop-down list, you can select the group of subjects for which you want the measures to be calculated. Below this list, you can define the minimum and maximum, density and the step size. Remember that in the case of BUT graph, instead of density, you have to define the threshold, and in the case of WU graphs, you don't need to define anything. After you define the required parameters, you can start the calculation of the measures by clicking on the Calculate Measures button. When you do so, this button changes to the Stop button, which can be used if you want to stop the calculations. By clicking on it, the Resume button gets activated, which can be used for resuming the calculations. In the box above these buttons, you can see the measures that have been calculated and the corresponding densities along with the total amount of time these calculations have taken. If you want to compare two group of subjects, you should click on the Compare Group Measures button. Again, an interface similar to the previous one appears. After you have selected the measures that you want to be calculated, you should choose the groups that you want to compare. Then type in the number of permutations for the permutation test. And finally, define the minimum and maximum density and the step size. In the case that the comparison is between longitudinal data, click on the longitudinal checkbox. To start the comparison, click on the Compare Groups button. In the case that you want to compare a group of subjects with random graphs, click on the Compare with Random Graphs button. Again, select the desired measures and the group for which you want to calculate the measures. In the box in front of the random matrix number, 
enter the number of random graphs you want to use for comparison and for the random swap number enter the number of edges rewiring for the randomization. Then define the density interval and the step size. And finally start your comparison. You can see the results of the analysis in either the global measures and the nodal measures panels or the brain view panel. First I go to the global measures panel. On the left side of this panel you can select the results you want to see. By clicking on each of these checkboxes you can see the group measures, between group comparisons and comparisons with random graphs. From this drop down list you can select the measure you want to see and from these drop down lists you can select the groups. After you have selected the measure or comparison you can see the results in this table. If you want to select one of the results you can click on the checkbox provided beside each calculated measure. If you want to select all the results click on the select all button. To deselect the selected results, click on the clear selection button. And to remove the selected results, click on the remove button. On the right side of the panel, a figure is shown in which you can visualize the results of your analysis. In the case of the beauty graph, the x-axis is the density, and in the case of beauty graph, it represents threshold. If you select the measure or the random comparison options, the y-axis shows the value of the selected measure. However, if you select the comparison option, the y-axis is the difference between the values of the selected measure of the selected groups. In this table, you can see which plot or plots you have in the figure. By clicking on each of these checkboxes, you can hide or show the figure you can plot several plots in the same figure or you can clear the figure. If you want to change the axis limits, you can click on these checkboxes and define the lower and upper limits. By unchecking these checkboxes, the axes will get their default values. Finally, if you visualize the comparison or the random comparison analysis, you can also check whether your results are significant by clicking on the Show Confidence Interval checkbox. If you right click on the figure, you can see the other actions provided for better visualization of the data. By selecting the Data Settings option, you can modify the style of data representation by changing the color, type, and size of both the line and the symbols. You can modify the style of the upper and lower limits and the middle line of the confidence interval. In addition, you can change the confidence interval area by changing its face, edge color and transparency along with its line, style and color. If you want to export this figure, use the generate figure option below the figure menu. If you go to the nodal measures panel, you can see that the only difference between this panel and the previous one is this drop down list. In this list, you can select the regions whose analysis results you want to observe. Now I move to the brain view panel. If you want to see the brain graphs for each group, click on the view brain graph button. In this interface, you can select the group whose brain graph you want to see. You can observe their binary graph with fixed density or threshold whose values are defined here. Or you can visualize their weighted graphs by clicking on this checkbox and defining either the colors corresponding to low and high weights or thickness of the edges. Besides, you can hide or show the graph and define edge color and thickness. If you click on the View Group Measures button, this interface appears. On the left side, you should select the group 
whose analysis result you want to visualize. Then, select the measure you wish. Afterwards, a list of densities or thresholds in which the selected measure is calculated is displayed. You should select your desired density and then use the visualization method as described in the tutorial of the MRI cohort. To visualize the group measure comparisons, click on the View Comparison button. Here, after you have selected the groups, the measure, the density or threshold, and your visualization method, you can select the single-tailed or double-tailed false discovery rate checkboxes to only show the regions with significant p-value. You can define the limit for the p-value in these boxes. To view the results of the comparison with random graph, you can click on the View Random Comparison button and use the same visualization method. When you have finished your analysis, you can export it as an XML file. Don't forget to save your analysis before quitting. This concludes the tutorial series of MRI graph analysis. Thanks for watching.